Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review. With me, Peter Z, master of hoppets. Today, reviewing another collaboration beer. This time between Angry Chair, which is a brewery I've never heard of, and Cigar City and McKellar. And this is their Big Debra Oatmeal Cream Pie. So it's apparently the first beer in a series called Big Debra. And this is the oatmeal cream pie. It says, Big Debra is a collaboration series dedicated to grown-up interpretation of nostalgic treats. Which is kind of cool. If you know, uh, I think it's called Little Debbie, the brand, which is like an American brand of cakes and cookies and, and snacks. Um, you know, things like that. And then apparently one of them is oatmeal cream pie, I guess. And they basically kind of just took the Little, De Little Debbie logo and label and then put on a bearded dude dude's face instead of Debbie and then called it Big Deborah instead. So, sounds interesting. It's brewed with vanilla and cinnamon, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Cinnamon and vanilla. So, sounds pretty interesting. 8%. Um, they call it an American strong ale online. So, I mean, in the glass, it kind of looks like a brown ale. And it is a very dark ruby maroon red color. There's some brownish notes to it as well. A nice off-white or beige head. Let's check the check out the aroma on this. <laughs> Oatmeal cream pie ale. Whoa. <laughs> Cinnamon for sure and vanilla bomb. It almost... It, it does smell, smell like a cake. Like a... Almost like a marzipan as well. It, it kind of reminds me of some of these kind of pre-made cakes you can get. Like maybe not, I mean, I've never had oatmeal cream pie, but some of those pre-packaged cakes. There's a little bit of chocolate almost. Doughy breadiness. Very sweet. Almost slightly, you know, artificial vanilla cinnamony aroma to it. Almost. If not, yeah, actually. Artificial. Smelling it, it, I don't know why it reminds me. <laughs> it's it's weird, but it reminds me of be, when I was a kid going to Disneyland for the first time in Paris, and having some of the candies there. I don't know why, but it reminds me of that. Maybe even like the the Dutch, uh, like honey waffles or something like that. There's a lot of, like lots of caramel toffee notes, and like fudge, butterscotch, butterscotch toffee. And like vanilla and cinnamon. It smells very <laughs> different. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Hmm? <laughs> that is... That is like drinking cake. <laughs> what? You really taste oatmeal, too. Wow, it's sweet, though. Holy shit, it's sweet. Wow, this is a strange beer. You do not taste 8% alcohol. That is very well hidden. But if you do not like sweet, cakey beers, you will not like this. Wow, this is so perplexing and weird. It leads your mind towards, you know, your, your pumpkin ale is almost like... I'm, something like that, but without that, you know, allspice and whatnot... I mean, it's like cinnamon and vanilla and marshmallow and breadiness and caramel and toffee, butterscotch toffee, as I said. Wow, this is a weird beer, but it's actually pretty nice tasting. I mean, this is dessert beer for sure. This, I think, will be, sorry, awesome with vanilla ice cream. And you get the oats as well. A little bit of raisiny date figgy flavor, some honey-esque flavor as well. Wow, this is a fun Weird <laughs> beer. And again, not tasting late percent, but this is definitely not for everyone because uh, it is very sweet, almost like a syrupy, sugary sweetness to it. There's some brown sugar notes maybe even too. I mean, if you don't like sweet beers, you will not like this because this is one of the sweetest beers I've had in a long time. This is definitely like, um, like artery clogging sweet. Um, rating wise, as I said, I'm kind of perplexed. I don't really know. I think I'm gonna go straight up 90. I think it's really nice, but it's not like mind-blowingly amazing. But it's it's kind of a really nice, fun attempt at making a dessert-like cakey beer. 
Um, it, it's cool stuff, but definitely one you want to share. I mean, I, I don't think I could drink a whole bottle of this by myself. Uh, that'd be too much, but fun stuff. Really, really cool, sweet, desserty beer. Should be interesting to see what they're going to release next in this series. And maybe I should Google some of the products that Little Debbie does and, you know, see if I can find out what this is actually. And, and hope, cross our fingers for some, I don't know, some kind of chocolate pie or something. I think that'd be good. <laughs> so, guys, that does it for the review of the strangely nice yet weird desserty beer uh, oatmeal cream pie, Big Deborah oatmeal cream pie by Angry Chair, Cigar City, and McKellar. Wow, <laughs> different stuff, fun stuff, really worth a go if you like your desserty and sweet beers, and if you just want to try something a little bit different. So, guys, if you've had a chance to try the Big Deborah <laughs> Oatmeal Cream Pie Ale, let me know what you think of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and let me know what you think of these kind of adjunct desserty, almost desserty, almost pumpkin y beers. I know it's not a pumpkin ale, but leads your mind towards that because of the like cinnamon flavor. But nice stuff, guys. I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.